Some are wondering just how safe milk might be. There are concerns being raised that the milk we drink could contain medicine that's used to treat sick dairy cows. Tonight, Call Curtis investigates what's in your milk. Well, we have learned a long list of antibiotics is used to treat sick dairy cows, but the government doesn't require milk be tested for every drug. With four girls, the Bohr family goes through milk by the gallons each week. If the girls want a glass of milk, I never tell them no. But Dad Michael may not know everything that's in each glass. Well, it concerns me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Advocacy groups like the Dairy Education Board suspect the same medicines given to sick cows may be ending up in our milk. We no longer have antibiotics that work for the diseases they were created for. Infectious disease doctors have long worried unintended exposure to antibiotics could keep the same drugs from working when prescribed to people. There are concerns that we're running out of antibiotics as more and more bacteria become resistant. But he says it depends on how much we're consuming. We've uncovered when it comes to milk, nobody knows for sure. That's because the FDA only requires milk be tested for six different antibiotics. But when dairy cows are slaughtered and USDA inspectors test for all antibiotics, reports we've obtained show 17 different types. Meat with illegal levels is destroyed. If the antibiotics are in the cow meat, could it be in the milk? There's a possibility that it could be in the milk. UC Davis's Terry Leyenbauer says it's a valid question and depends on whether the cow's milk was sold before going to the slaughterhouse. But he says there's no current evidence suggesting the milk is dangerous. Most every dairy farmer is very concerned about the quality of the milk. Fifth generation dairy farmer Jim Pellandini of B&J Dairy and Galt says he separates sick cows being treated with drugs from the herd until the medicine has cleared their system. And he tests his own milk before it leaves the dairy. We do so much testing, it's unbelievable. Because if the milk later tests positive for one of those six antibiotics, the dairy gets fined, and the tainted milk worth tens of thousands of dollars is dumped down the drain. Uh, and if you get a violation, and you get a second violation, you're not going to be in this business no more. California has 1,800 dairies. Of the more than 715,000 tanks of milk tested in all of 2010, records we've obtained show inspectors issue 100 violations that entire year. But remember, those violations are only tied to the six antibiotics the FDA requires be tested. But what about those dozen or so untested antibiotics? Could they be flying under the radar right into these jugs of milk? The Food and Drug Administration admits it isn't quite sure. So they launched a 12-month study blind testing milk across the country to see if it's, quote, actually a real problem that warrants further follow-up action. While some struggling dairies are against any more regulation that could hurt their bottom line, Palandini says he doesn't mind the extra scrutiny. Because the more testing you do to prove that we, are, we run a very safe business, I'm all for it. Until the FDA testing is done, this dad says he's cutting back on the milk he gives his family. I'd sure like to know what's happening and, and what's going on and, and make sure that my girls are okay. Well, that FDA testing will wrap up in January. They are checking milk at 900 dairies across the country. and The dairies do not know they're being checked. A trade organization that represents 1,100 dairies in California says if consumers want it, they also support more testing. So that's in January. What do consumers do in the meantime? And, and do we really need to be, I mean, terribly worried about this? Well, the dairies say the milk is safe. The yeah. government is not telling people to change their habits okay. at all. And uh, the doctors we speak with say it depends on how much of the antibiotics, if any, you're consuming. Uh, uh, you know, if you have long-term exposure, it could cause a problem. But if it's just a slight amount, probably not going to be a problem. Okay. So if they do step up this testing, though, what's that going to do to the price? Well, you know, whenever there's something that's more expensive in the middle, it usually gets passed on to us. So that we don't know for sure, well, but if it does get passed along, we know there's that a about chance. gasoline in California. Yeah, exactly it's a right. Big expense. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, our our coverage continues on CBSSacramento.com. There you could read the FDA and dairy industry's full statements. We posted hundreds of milk reports we've obtained for dairies across California. We've also linked to USDA meat violations and the levels of medicines they do allow in meat.